Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna make easy jalapeno poppers, you guys. I got a big bag of fresh jalapenos. You guys, any size are good. I got some rather large ones, but this is totally okay. Make sure to keep the stem on, not just for show, but easy for picking up as well. So you guys, one thing I wanna let you know, that one's huge. One thing I wanna let you know about jalapeno poppers is depending on how spicy you want them, the spice is in the seeds and the membranes as well as the pepper. So what you're gonna do is when we're making these, you guys are gonna slice them in half. And if you want them really spicy, you can leave all the membranes in, this, in some of the seeds in. If you want them a little bit cooler on the mild side, scrape most of the membrane out because a lot of the spice is entangled into hey that. Hey guys, this one's bigger. Yes, that is a very big pepper. So you guys, I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have about eight or nine peppers in here, you guys. And like I said, we're gonna slice them in half. So we're gonna have a decent amount. I have two blocks of cream cheese. I have this one and then a backup one just in case we need it. Olivia's showing you the roasted pumpkin seeds that we made the other day. And then I have a half a pound of hickory smoked bacon, you guys. So this is the staple to this recipe. We're going to fill the peppers up. We're going to wrap them in bacon and then bake them and they're going to be perfect, you guys. So if you have garlic powder or fresh garlic as well, we're going to add that into the recipe. So make sure to grab that too. Salt and pepper as well for taste. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and get into this recipe, guys. All right, you guys, so I have my jalapeno peppers right here. These are freshly washed, you guys. I'm going to show you how to cut them. Just be careful as well, you guys, since this is a spicy food, when you're cutting it, you don't want to get the oils on your hands and touch your eyes. And do not put your hands in your mouth either because that would not be good. All right, you guys, be very careful, but grab a sharp enough knife that will cut through this. We're going to cut them in half just like this. Try to keep your eyes away from the pepper as well because you do not want any of that juice shooting in your eye that will burn horribly. All right, you guys, so this is what it's going to look like when it's halved. Okay, so this is, um, underneath this is the, all that membrane stuff I was talking about. It gives off that heat. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to take a fork and we're going to scrape out all this and the seeds, you guys. Be very, very careful. You do not get any of this in your eyes. You can scrape it right out with a fork, with a spoon. Just make sure you get all of that out, you guys. Okay? You can already smell how spicy they are, you guys. These are going to be so good, though. And you know what? This works perfect with the cream cheese because it cools it down and it just kind of mild, you know, levels it out a little bit. All right, you guys. So I'm kind of just digging most of this out because I don't want my peppers too spicy. Um, I like my peppers to be mild. Like I said, if you want them to be hotter, leave all that in there because that's kind of like what the spice clings on to, you guys. Totally up to you. Me, I know my oldest son, he loves spicy food, so I know he's going to have some of these, so I'm just trying to level the heat down in here. And you guys, if this recipe looks good to you and you don't want to use peppers, jalapeno peppers, you can use regular peppers as well. It's just as delicious. All right, you guys, so this is what both of our halves are going to look like when everything's scooped out, just like so. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and do that to the rest of my peppers, you guys, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what to put in them. All right, you guys, so I'm halfway there, but you guys, I had to stop and show you this. Look at how big this pepper is, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Normally, jalapeno poppers are like, one, two, three bite-sized snacks, but you guys, this is the biggest one we had in the batch. This is going to be a huge one. Pretty awesome, you guys. So this is what we have so far for the insides that we took out, the membranes and the seeds, you guys. We're getting there. We have this large one and then three more small ones. So keep scooping out your peppers. All right, you guys. So here I got a separate bowl and I put my peppers aside while I'm waiting. I preheated my oven to... 425 you guys because we're gonna have bacon we're not cooking it on top of the stove we're gonna pop it right in so we're just gonna bake it and then you're gonna grab your cream cheese so I have two blocks here you guys right now I only have one and a half blocks in here I'm just gonna play around and see if this is enough or not I do have some larger peppers than I thought I would so we might need a little bit more but that's okay and you guys as you can see my cream cheese is room temperature so it's nice and easy to fold we're going to go ahead and grab our salt. Remember, the salt and pepper is just to taste, not too much. A little bit of pepper. And then, like I said, you guys, you guys can use garlic powder if you want. Or 
regular garlic like this, minced garlic, or even if you have fresh cloves, that would be perfect as well. We're gonna do a tablespoon of that. And then mix everything together, you guys. Make sure it's fully mixed. This is gonna be our mix to stuff our peppers with, you guys. Just keep mixing. It might take a little bit, especially if your cream cheese is still cold, it'll take a little bit. So get to a nice thin consistency. You don't want it too thick. You want it easy. You want it to be light and fluffy, but also easy enough to fold. So just like this, this is just about perfect, you guys. I'm gonna keep mixing that in. As you stir it, it'll warm up and it'll fold as well. So just keep mixing it in. All right, you guys, and then I'm gonna bring my tray of peppers over. And we're gonna take a small spoon for these, you guys, just so that we can go ahead and fill the peppers. I'm just gonna show you how we're gonna do it. Let's start with one of the bigger ones first. All right, you guys, so here's my pepper. Go ahead and take some of your filling, just like that. Super easy, you guys, just like making a stuffed pepper, kind of grab your ingredients, stuff it just like that to the top. You don't wanna overflow it because as it bakes, you guys, it'll get smaller and it'll squeeze together anyway. So just like that, that's perfect. And then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna grab a piece of your bacon. You can use full strips if you want. I just cut these in half just so it was a little bit easier to use. And I think that the smaller strips are a little bit better to wrap your peppers with you guys. So I've seen people do their poppers like this. They just lay the bacon right on top and bake it like that. You could do that as well if you want. Or you can start right at the end, put a piece like so, and then wrap it. Kind of stretch it like that, you guys. Or... You can use more than one piece too if you want, you guys. Totally up to you, whatever you wanna do. I am just gonna fold them just like that. Just so that it leaves an opening for the cream cheese to vent out. And we don't want to have too much bacon on this, you guys, because the whole purpose of this recipe is the pepper and the filling. So I'm just gonna fold them and twist them just like that. Super easy. And then put that down, you guys, and go ahead and finish up your peppers and I'll see you in a bit. All right, you guys, so all of the peppers are stuffed and wrapped with bacon. I did have two extras, you guys, that I didn't have bacon for, which is totally okay. So I just put triple cheddar shredded cheese on top of them, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and pop these in the oven at 425 for about 15 to 20 minutes. These are small strips of bacon, so they won't take long, and it is thin sliced. So it's not going to take too long to cook, you guys, but make sure you're checking up on your peppers just to make sure that they're not burning, your bacon's not burning, and also check to make sure that your bacon is not undercooked, you guys. You don't want to eat these with raw bacon on them. So just keep popping in and checking in all the time, you guys. I'm going to pop these in the oven. I'll be back. All right, you guys, so I just pulled them out of the oven. They are perfectly cooked. You guys, I had them in at 425 for about, it was like 22 minutes. So the bacon is perfectly cooked. You can see that the jalapeno peppers on the bottom are charred a little bit, and that's perfect because you want that nice, crisp bite. Here's the two with the cheddar that's fully melted. So you guys, everything looks perfect. It looks amazing. They smell very good. I'm so excited to try these and have the kitties try them too. So make sure you try this recipe, you guys. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Mom, Bye. I don't like those. Oh, Olivia doesn't like them. They're too spicy. All right, guys. Bye.